In this video, I'm going to talk about the login and let's test the system to see if the auto login is going to work or not. So pay attention. It's really important to test all of this into Google, not uh, any, br any browser except Google Chrome because Google Chrome, when you close the browser, is not uh, uh, specifically not going to uh, destroy the session completely. So it's a good idea to uh, test it with either Safari, uh, you know, Mozilla, Firefox, or anything else. So in the PHP delimiter, the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to add this require once, uh, slash includes, slash init.php. The first thing you're going to add is going to be this. Then we're going to use our namespace. So parse, click, and backslash, uh, sessions backslash uh, auto login auto login and then semicolon at the end don't forget the semicolon otherwise you can see the syntax highlight is going to be uh, different so you might even uh, wonder why this is syntax is different than so because you haven't added the semicolon so the rest uh, I'm going to open up the 20 folder number 24 then I have a File got uh, file called login.php uh, login.txt. If I copy all of this script and then paste it right here, I will be able to explain it much better instead of typing it at uh, not even uh, able to speaking properly. So you're gonna check the uh, submit login submit button is clicked. Then we're gonna have the username and then trim it. Then we're gonna have the password and trim it. We're gonna prepare a statement select password from users where username equals user and then we're going to bind the uh, uh, you know the bind these parameters with username and username and then we're going to execute it then we're going to have a variable called a stored and uh, a stmt our statement fetch column so we're going to fetch the column we're going to bring up the user first then we're going to use this password verify which is uh, you know, uh, other function in PHP 5.5 uh, other than, let's say, uh, pa we have password hash, if you remember. Then we have our password verify. To verify the password, it accepts two parameters. The first parameter is going to be your password submitted to the database, uh, to the field. Then the second one, the password is stored. So we're fetching the column because we selected the password, right? So that's why we're fetching the column and then store it to this stored variable and then check it against the password user types then we, we're going to generate a new session id and then make it true so this true immediately deletes the uh, you know the session stored in the database and then we're going to have two session two more sessions first is going to be username to use the username as well as authenticated uh, which is going to be true so we're going to have these two authenticated to true as well as user because we uh, set this authenticated to true we, we can actually let user auto uh, let user to log in automatically next time if he or she uh, checks the remember me option there we go in this section uh, we we are checking the remember me or remember which is if you scroll down this is what it is uh, what this is so name remember you can name it anything but you have to make sure that you check to see if it sets or not and we're going to create a persistent login, uh, auto login, instantiate the auto login class. Then uh, we're going to uh, invoke the persistent login method. Then after that, everything is all right. We're going to, uh, you know, redirect the user to the restricted one, which I'm going to open it in a minute. Otherwise, we're going to say login failed. Check the username and password. If I save this and then open up this restricted one, on the top, you can see that we require the authenticate, which is uh, open right here. I'm going to explain it in a minute. Then we have a uh, you know, restricted page just uh, displaying the username and a link to redirect to our page number two, which is uh, you know, redirected to restricted2.php. If I open up this authenticate, I have require once our directory in, in it using the same namespace auto login. We check to see if the authenticated is true, which is we actually did right here. We made it to, we assigned it to true. Or if we have the session called parse click. Dash, uh, I mean uh, slash um, underscore auth. If any of, any of them is uh, you know set already, so we are okay right here. And then 
nothing happens. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna generate, you know, have a new variable called auto login, uh, instantiate this uh, auto login class from the auto login class. We're gonna check the credentials. And again, if we have this auto login, we're gonna redirect to the login if it's not set. So there we go. So let's just go ahead and test this. So to test this, I already brought up the test uh, login.php. And if I type my name, Hassan, and the password, which was secret, and login without choosing the remember me function. And if I uh, go here, it says, hi, Hassan. And if I go to the page two, it says, still here, Hassan. And then uh, it, it is remembering it. Now, let's close the browser uh, with command Q and let's open this up again. And if I go to the history and restricted page, or let's just type the restricted page to see, because we never choose the, uh, you know, exercise files, go to the test, let's go to the restricted one. You see, it redirects us past because, uh, because we didn't choose this remember me option. But now, if I go ahead and type my name again, and choose the remember me option, and go ahead and log in, it says, hi, Hassan. And let me just copy this address again, because I'm just gonna close this. Closed it, and let me just open this again, and paste this address, enter. You can see that it remembers, so it auto login us to this page. Uh, even if I go to the page two, it's still there. If I log out there again, it's not there. And if I want to access the page, which is restricted one, it's gonna redirect me back there because we looked out and the session is not there. If I go ahead and look, uh, type localhost and phpMyAdmin to see what is going on, and say sys underscore admin with the password secret, can see that in the persistent we have our user I have two users created Amir and Hassan and we have our session you can click on and then you can see that some sessions are right here as well as some values on, in some of them and some of them are just not uh, empty without any values so we have active only for some of them and not some uh, you know a username uh, let's just open one of them you can see that we have active and then the time, and then this was the one I was talking about. The username with the pipe, S for then Amir, authenticated, B, colon, one. This, these are the session values. So this is what is going on here. And then auto login, you can see because we used one time auto login, remember, you can see we have, uh, you know, auto login for user Hassan, and it is, it's got some time as well as, uh, you know, remember, you know, you see that remember value is right here. So th this is what, uh, everything works, auto login works. And uh, I think we are completed uh, the uh, course about persistent sessions and stable sessions. I hope you enjoyed it.